Well, Nathan, it's finished here at Workstop, 1-0 uh, to the home side. Just your assessment on the performance. It's a tough one because this, this is a really hard place to come. They've, they've got the best home record in the league. They're a very good football inside. They use all the space. They rode our look at times, but I think we defended on the whole very, very well. And to lose it to a real scruffy goal, you know, leaves a little bit of sour taste in the mouth. But, um, you know, we'll pick ourselves up and we'll go again. Yeah, in terms of the first half, um, as you mentioned, defence you expected to be tested, but it felt that on the whole you were, you know, the side were holding on. Yeah, we started off bright. Um, we're picking up some pockets. We had some half chances. Keepers pulled off a good save off Bramwell, um, but then they're coming to it. Um, and they're experienced, they'll find lots of space. We struggled to contain it a little bit whilst we were pretty comfortable at the same time. They didn't really threat our goal. Um, I don't think they had a shot on target in the first half. So um, we were we were pretty comfortable at half time and you know we, we rejigged the formation a little bit, which I think worked. Um, and the glade plan was working, but like I say, that, that scruffy goal, obviously they get the three points. Yeah, and it was Jamie Bramwell, the fortunate man there, just instinctively sticking the foot out. And it's one of those really, where, as you mentioned, the whole defending really well and pretty much with Sané for work to through with us, yeah. but that one there just perhaps step too far. Yeah, well, if you if you put enough balls in the box, you know, you're liable, a mistake can happen. And, and that's what it was. It was a little bit greasy and it slipped off uh, Bram's foot. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, they've, they've, you know on the whole, that probably deserves it. Works up, they've been, you know, had a lot of the possession and they've put a lot of pressure on us um, but yeah I think it's just unlucky. And I suppose the disappointment as well was that on the attacking side of things it was always like to come on the counter attack we did have a few moments where they, they got bodies forward but perhaps yeah. just sort of the first touch let them down a bit on a few occasions. Yeah as a whole we we weren't ourselves today I mean you could put that down to works up and, and how they've played and you know they've, they've exerted a lot of energy chasing the ball our lads but you know, we've just said in there, it's, you know, you need players to, to, to really turn up in these games. And I think I think most of them have just had bog standard average day of the office, really. Um, we've not really stepped up. Uh, Danny Rose won all his headers, that's what he does. But aside from that, you know, you've got to put it down to them and how good they've been. They've, they've, they've limited us. Yeah, and uh, on the back of the goal as well, it, it felt it would be, again, the, sort of the same thing continuing. We just couldn't get going in that attacking sense and no. really that. that chance of getting a comeback in and equalise is sort of quite slim at all. No, there, there, wasn't, there wasn't enough quality from us, um, I think it's fair to say. Um, we, we went for it in the end, we, we put three at the top end and went a little bit more direct, but you know, fair play to them, they've, they've defended well today. Yeah, in terms of your substitutions as well, it seemed that Brad Fuster, who started the game up front, he was sort of just a bit of a lost cause perhaps at the time, very, very much isolated, I suppose, and look, that's down to the way it works up where we did try to change up, bringing the likes of Jerome Greaves and Nathan yeah. Thomas on. And, Again, particularly with Jerome, it did seem that he did sort of have a bit more effect up there. He did, he gives a, a little bit more height and um, the struggle to contain him, to be fair to Jerome, he, he got a few flick-ons, uh, but we didn't really get round him. And, and like I said, I'm kind of repeating myself, but we weren't our real zesty self in the final third. Um, we, we opted to dribble in our own half and it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't effective where works up have, have used the ball really well, they made the pitch big. That's what we normally do. Um, but we, you know, we had a we had a lesson at our own game today, I think. Yeah, and then just looking ahead, it's going to be another tough game uh, down at Warrington Rylands next week. Uh, again, the side similar to yeah. works up in their league position. Um, once again, I'm sorry, you're going to be expecting enough, a tough test in that one, but yeah. I suppose plenty of things to learn on the back of today as well. Yeah, to, uh, look, another tough test. They're a very good team. They're, they're up there on merit. Um, you know, they've, they've not lost many and they don't concede many. And he's, you know, they've got they've got a couple of danger lads up front with lots of pace. Um, another tough game, but that's what we're in the game for. We look forward to it, and, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll we'll go next week, and, and you know we'll see where it takes us. Yeah, the good news as well, seeing uh, Corbett Shepherd back on the bench as well this afternoon. Mm. Um, any news on top of how many times going to actually coming back into first team action? Yeah, he's ready. He's ready. Um, didn't want to risk him today. Um, but it was a, it was a soft tissue injury, but he's, he's done all his rehab. He, he's, he's done really well at that, and he's, he's flew through with flying colours. So yeah, I'll be ready for next week.